Welcome to Miami Beach and the giant convention hall for what may be the richest heavyweight championship fight of all time. And into the ring now comes the somber and menacing figure of Charles Sonny Liston, the champion, aptly named the most frightening man in the world. Not for Liston, the claptrap of his opponent, Cassius Clay. Liston, one-time convict and twice the lightning conqueror, Floyd Patterson, is a man of action. He's looked on Clay's antics with contempt. He's been content to wait for this night to provide the answers. But Liston made one prediction. He said Cassius Clay wouldn't get past the third round. This morning, when Clay turned the weighing-in ceremony into a circus act, Liston cut that prediction to two rounds. And here he is, the champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Sugar Ray, come in the ring, please. Sugar Ray Robinson. The hooded figure of the champion, Sonny Liston, coming into the ring after the challenger. Cassius Clay beat his schedule by several minutes and has been in the ring now, warming up, limbering up in his corner. And Clay looks pretty confident, despite what everybody said at the weigh-in when Clay was fined $2,500, that's about 900 pounds, for misconduct. He shouted, he raved, he taunted Sonny Liston. Despite all that, Clay tonight Thank has come into the ring balance. looking fairly confident, sweating just a little. Here's our ring Welcome announcer, Frank Miami Freeman. Beach, Florida, Miami Beach Convention Hall. While we're here, may I introduce you to a couple of boxers you have seen in the past, we'll probably see again in the future. The contender and former welterweight champion of the world, Louis Manuel Rodriguez. And from North Miami Beach, right here in Florida, the light heavyweight champion of the world, the dancing master, Willie Pastrano. Willie P. Willie Pastrano, who boxes an awful lot like Cassius Clay. And here's a heavyweight on the comeback trail. Five KOs in a row, gunning for a title shot, the popular Californian, Eddie Machen. Machen. Eddie, punching better than ever, doing exceptionally well. And real close to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, a man who has been acclaimed as the greatest fighter, pound for pound, three-time middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. You know what this spectacle is. You've seen it before. Ray with a, a, a great uh, tuxedo sort of suit on. Looks great. Looks perhaps younger than he's looked in a long time. Congratulated and wished Clay lots of luck. Did the same with Sonny. Says hello to the referee. And now the announcer. And doing, doing the commentary over television for theater, network, television, Probably one of the most beloved boxers of all time defended his title 25 times in his nine years as heavyweight champion, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Lewis. My colleague tonight, my broadcast partner, got a great hand, and why not? An all-time great. And on the other side of the ring, doing his bit, for ABC Radio, the undefeated, retired heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Rocky, very popular in the Southland, popular all over the country. Unbeaten, untied. Back to the ring announcer. This bout is under the auspices of veterans of foreign wars, post number 35. Five, nine. Under the promotion of Dundee McDonald Enterprises and the supervision of the Miami Beach Boxing Commission, consisting of Carl Gardner, Vice Chairman, Al Sherman, Dan Roth, Eddie Lassman, and Chairman Morris Klein. The officials assigned the doctor, the chief medical examiner, Dr. Alexander Robbins, 
The timekeeper is Gus Reno counting for the knockdowns, Scotty Lang. Judging, Gus Jacobson. Bunny Lovett. And the referee, Barney Felix. This bout, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. The challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks with red stripes, weighing 210 and one half pounds, the former Olympic light heavyweight champion, Cassius Clay. Clay. And his opponent from Denver, Colorado, weighing 218 pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, the heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Liston. 15 rounds, two more bouts will follow. All right, man. I want a clean bout, man. In the event of a knockdown, the man that is down must take an eight count. Man standing up will go to a neutral corner while I start counting. And do not resume boxing until I tell you to do so. Now I want a clean bout. When they order you to break, stop punching and step back. Good luck. Shake hands. Sonny Liston, 15 stone eight. Cassius Clay, 15 stone and half a pound. He's giving away seven and a half pounds to the champion. Cassius Clay, now comes for him the moment of truth. For months he's taunted Liston. He said what he's going to do to him. He's predicted eight rounds. Now he has to make his fist do what his mouth has predicted. The heavyweight championship of the world from the right-hand corner. It's Cassius Clay against Sonny Liston. Clay going round this ring as fast as he said he would. He said he was going to be a dancer, and that's the way he is going to work it. He's hurt him in the body with a right hand. Clay is hurt. Liston here trying for his third successive one-round win in World Heavyweight Championship fights. One minute has gone. And Clay's blinking, he's felt one or two punches already. He's got to keep moving, keep away. There's an 84-inch reach there with Liston. Liston too wild and wide with the right hand, having to take lefts in the face from Clay. This is what Clay said he would do, jab and move. And he's fighting back, Clay. Two minutes gone. And that's two minutes six, and that's as long as Patterson lasted in his first fight with Liston. Well, that's two minutes ten gone, and now he's gone further than Patterson did in either of his fights with Liston. So he's done better than Floyd Patterson. And he's hurt Liston with three or four punches. What a first round Clay's having here against Liston. Liston smiled coldly when he took those punches. But he had to take them. Three, four punches to the head he had to take there at about the two and a half minute stage. Coming to the end of the first round, and it's been a sensational first round. 
and Clay has stolen the honours in it. There's the ball for the first, and they're still fighting. They, they haven't heard the ball, and they're still going on. The ball's gone, and the referee hasn't heard it. And they still went on fighting. About eight seconds after the end of the first round, they didn't hear the bell, and neither did referee Barney Felix, and they went on. Well, that is a marvellous first round for Cassius Clay. Here he is, the 22-year-old challenger. The boy who said he would make the big, ugly bear look silly in the ring tonight, and for about one minute towards the end of that round, he did. He was hurt by a right hand to the body early on, and now he starts his clowning again. He's making faces for the photographers. This is what he's been doing all through his training. Look how confident this boy is. What a first round, and now this hall buzzes with excitement because Clay has shown that perhaps after all he can do what he said he would do, round two Liston cut his prediction to two rounds today this is the round he has to do it if he's going to do it by long left hands. This is the way Clay said he would fight. It's the way his camp said he would fight. To keep on dancing away, using his legs. Making Liston miss a lot. sensational start here in Miami Beach Convention Hall to this World Heavyweight Championship fight between Sonny Liston, the champion, and Cassius Marcellus Clay. Those inside punches are what Liston's good at. This is what might take the toll out of Clay if he stays in there inside. Two minutes of the second round gone. All those lefts picking up points from Clay into Liston's face time and again. scowling as he goes inside, gritting his teeth, trying to fire a right hand. Hi. Two rounds gone at that time, they hear the bell, two rounds, six minutes of fighting completed, Cassius Clay not only still there, but still jabbing away with his left hand to the face of Sonny Liston and doing remarkably, remarkably well in this sensational heavyweight championship. The corner of Sonny Liston, 30 years old, from Denver, Colorado, born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. His fights with Floyd Patterson lasted 2 minutes 6 and 2 minutes 10 seconds, and now we're coming up to the third round. His record, 36 fights and lost one, one only, and that was nearly 10 years ago. Of his 36 uh, fights. He's won 25 inside the distance. He's won 10 on points. When he was beaten, as I say, nearly 10 years ago, he lost on points over eight rounds and he fought the last four rounds with a broken jaw. He's since won 29 fights in a row.
and Liston is cut underneath his left eye. Liston is cut under the left eye in round three. Those jabs of play have opened up a cut on Liston's face. And now he's punishing the champion heavily. And Liston is in desperate trouble. He's got him going. Liston's face is bleeding and he can't stop the punches coming into him. Now he's clubbing viciously, primitively and savagely now to try and beat down this young challenger. It's looking as though Clay might pull off the greatest sensation of modern times. Liston's cut is worse underneath the left eye. still coming forward but Clay seems contemptuous of the punches a minute to go in the third round it's Clay's left left hand and his legs Liston's going all out for the finish here. He's sinking the punches in on Clay now, and Clay's taking more and more. 40 seconds to go in the third. Clay's still moving back, but not so fast. Twenty seconds to go in the third. Underneath, not a serious cut, but enough to worry the champion. Sensation piling upon sensation here in the Miami Beach Convention Hall tonight, where they're charging $250 for a ringside seat to see this, and what they call the Golden Circle. And the people are getting, I should think, every cent's worth of it too. Three rounds gone, and the honors stolen by the 22-year-old challenger against this 30-year-old Liston with the 84-inch reach and the 14-inch fist, but those fists tonight haven't made much impression. The fourth round coming up. A night to remember. has now travelled further with Liston than any man has done against the champion for three and a half years. That left hand is drawn towards Liston's face.
still fighting the sort of fight he said he would. And making every critic in the place look silly. Oh, two good punches from this one. A right and then a left. moving away from the left hook all the time. Notice how he's moving to his own left, away from the left of Liston's. Using every inch of the ring. Making those young legs keep him clear of trouble. Liston to come to him the whole time, forcing the older man to make the fight and to draw the strength from him. Four rounds and Clay goes to his corner looking a little bit tired, but what can you say about the man except Cassius Clay has amazed the world of boxing tonight. There he is. And he's still talking and he's still clowning. And I should think still predicting. He said eight rounds. We're halfway there. Is it possible that Clay is going to pull it off? Six feet three inches tall. 78 inch reach. That's six inches shorter than this one's. His record, 19 fights and 19 wins. Only four have gone the distance. Knocked down twice in his whole career by Sonny Banks and Henry Cooper. So far, Liston hasn't managed it. And now, Clay is screwing up his eyes in pain. Something on the gloves they're complaining has got into his eyes. Round five. More drama, more sensations here now. As Clay complains that he can't see properly and he's blinking. And he's got something in his eyes. Liston will be merciless, he won't give him any mercy. And Clay's still squinting. And Clay's corner are complaining that something has got on those gloves and he's rubbed it into his eyes. Liston's hurting him with punches now because Clay isn't putting up much defence because he's saying all the time, I can't see, I can't see. And now he's fooling around with Liston. He's pushing and pouring up with the left hand against the champion's face. And from drama now, this round is turning into farces. Clay play acts with Liston. Pushing him away and he's had to take a hard left hook to the chin and he's just putting out his left hand into Liston's face. Fantastic. He's just pulling him away. Liston has hit him practically a will this round and he's still standing there. This is what's significant. So he's taken the punches and he's still standing up there and he's still playing about with Liston with the left hand. Look at this. He's taunting him. He's making a fool of the champion. He's just pushing his left glove into Liston's face. Listen, has got a scowl on his face now. 
His lips are twisted. Fantastic round because Clay came out for the start of it complaining that he couldn't see, there was something in his eyes. And then as the round developed, so he began to play about and play the fool with the champion and make Sonny Liston look quite silly. There he is still squinting those eyes up. For about a minute and a half he was just poking his left hand into Liston's face. He might be trying to say that I said I'd do it in eight, and I don't want to do it in four. It has developed into easily the most extraordinary and sensational heavyweight championship fight since before the war. minute gone of the six and it's all clay again it's all clay in his corner at jubilant two brown one of his seconds shouting out the top of his voice dance dance cassius dance keep that left sticking and that's what he's doing he's making the champion look like a sparring partner Completely at sea, he doesn't know what it's all about. Like the rest of us, he's amazed. What's the way Clay is brushing aside Liston's punches now with his gloves? The pattern of the fight has changed too because Clay's now coming forward. He's got Liston on the retreat. completed and the convention hall is rising not to the champion here but to the challenger Sonny Liston the challenger Cassius Clay an amazing night Liston is the man who among other things has stopped such fighters as Zora Foley Roy Harris, Nino Valdez, Cleveland Williams, Mike DeJohn, all these he's stopped. 
but as it's going now he can't stop and he doesn't look like stopping Cassius Marcellus Clay the man who's boasted since 1960 when he won the Olympic light heavyweight title that he'd become the professional heavyweight champion of the world and the signs are now as we come to the seventh round that that's just what he might do Happen. Clay has won. Clay has won. Something has happened in Liston's corner. They're not going on. And Cassius Clay has won after six rounds. And there's the champion, the ex champion, sitting despondently in his corner. A sensation to end all sensations. It's all over at the end of the sixth round. And Cassius Clay is the new champion of the world. Our American announcer Steve Ellis will be trying to climb up into that mob in a minute to get an interview with Clay and Liston and we'll keep our eyes and ears open for that and as soon as we get it you shall have it but this is the scene in the Miami Beach Convention Hall on the most sensational night in heavyweight championship boxing for a quarter of a century at least Cassius Clay is the new heavyweight champion of the world at the age of 22 Felix Jones. What did it? The Sonny Liston, what happened? Well, uh, I don't want to talk to Sonny, and Sonny said that he's going to throw it out of, out of way. Cash he left over. Do us a favor now. You're an ace reporter. Get over and see if we can't get Sonny over here. Get him over if you can't, Jeff. I just talked to Sonny. He said that the doctors won't let him come over. Right, well, but, but, try. Try to get okay. him. Try to get him. If you can. Meanwhile, Sonny Liston is going to throw it out of the way. Come on, Sonny. 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 It is a seventh round knockout. It's, it's recorded as a seventh round knockout. And thank you, Barney. You did a good job. All right, Howard. Hey, Joe. What did he say? Wait a minute, Barney. See if he cannot come, the doctor will let he him come. Cannot come. His, okay. Let him go. Okay, get Cassius Clay. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. He's yelling behind us. Cassius Clay, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here, champ. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't have her. Now, hold it. Move over, Joe. Joe, get on the side. I don't have a mark on my face. Now, wait, hold it. Hold it. Bedlam breaking out. Bedlam busting out here. So great, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I upset Sonny Liston, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Now, hold it. I told the world. I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me, Sonny. I shook up the world. Cassius, I know Cassius, God. I know Cassius, the real God. Cassius, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Cassius. Yes. Let me ask you this now. You told me when you visited in Los Angeles you could do it in eight. Well, you thought Sonny and figured Sonny was great. How I come had, you did it in six or I, seven? I, I, you I did it in seven. I had him going in eighth. I was getting ready to take him in the eighth, as you could see. But the man stopped it just to keep from making me look so great. Right. I see. Now, give us that poetry on number seven. He wanted to go to heaven, so I took him in seven. You took him in seven. I am the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold I'm it. Pretty. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a baby. bad man. Wait, wait. <laughs> I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Hold it. Uh, Joe, I shook him. up the world. Hold it. Wait a minute, Cash, wait a minute. Hold you it. must listen to me. Now listen to I me. I am the double. All right, hold it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you this. I can't be beat. Joe, uh, wait a minute, hold it. Hold it. They're booing the champ, but I don't think so. All right, tell us this. All right, Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Cassius Clay, the heavyweight champion. Let's get our champion, Joe Lewis, over here as the camera follows Cassius Clay. Joe, what did it? His shoulder went out. Give us the analysis well, there. as you know, I said that I think Clay getting all the confidence in the world out of the end of the sixth round. I think he had all the confidence to go ahead and defeat something, like I just said. But it, the doctor stopped him, kind of left, I'll throw it, the doctor stopped him, kind of, kind of left arm, but throw it out of the way. All right, up I, to the... I still think that's trying to... 
that Clay probably could still beat something because he had too much confidence. So. All right, he had too much confidence there. Lifting Clay up. Where is he making that speech? Over in the neutral corner. And over in the neutral corner. Get him Clay. back here or get him over there if you can. He's throwing kisses to everybody. Cassius Clay is standing there amidst his followers. And at this point, we'll get uh, someone over and find out. Angelo Dundee. Angelo, the manager of the world heavyweight champion. The manager on record, Angelo Dundee, who along with Bill Fibersham and the 10 other Louisville gentlemen who had him, the Louisville sponsoring group. Wait a second. Angelo. He's still on microphone. We're trying to get somebody to you, ladies and gentlemen. All we can say at this point as we look into the into the face of Cassius Clay. Let's get Angelo. Well, there he is, the new champion of the world, Cassius Marcellus Clay, 22 years old and champion in his 20th fight at the end of six rounds. Mark down here as a win in seven rounds. Let's listen now for a word from Angelo Dundee, the trainer of play. All right, lead pipe since you call it. That's right. And, and tell me this, what are his plans? Would he, feed, would he fight a guy in the top six, say like an Eddie Machen, for example? Fight anybody. He'll be a fighting heavyweight champ. It's the best thing that happened in boxing. All right. When you say the best thing, why? Why do you give us because that story? Because this guy gives a lot of zets in boxing, keeps people talking boxing. What do we want? We need people like that in boxing. It's Some a fresh young kid that we need. And this kid's done a lot for boxing. I'm thrilled to be with him. Well, you certainly have done a good job of teaching him, schooling him. Now, do you think that Liston, or will you give Liston a return fight? Well, that's up to Bill Favisham. I feel there'll be no problem. I feel they'll get together if the money's right. No problem if the money's right. What are you, he's still making speeches over there. Maybe Joe is getting him on his mic. At least I hope he is. Angelo, thank you. Now we're getting him back. Come over here. Come over here now again, Cassius. Anne's just said you perhaps would give Sonny, if Bill Favisham, and you say, okay, a return shot. If the man dreamed he fought me twice, he would apologize. He would apologize. He would apologize. All right, now, Cassius. There was no match. I want the world to know. I'm so great until Sonny Liston was not even a match. I don't have a mark on my face. In the fifth round, he had liniment in his head. He had liniment in his gloves, and I couldn't do nothing but hold him and duck. Now, hold it, y'all. Your son, uh, Cassius, you oh, said yeah, liniment. My house was burning. Right. Had liniment. Liniment. We thought that maybe Ange or one of your cornermen put some stuff in the, on the no. towel by mistake. The, man, the man's trainers are dirty. He had gloves. Are dirty. He had liniment. Lemon. Lemon in his head. Did he stick you with his thumb? Is that yeah. what you're trying to say? My whole face is burning. Your face was burning. Still burning. I, and I whooped him. I whooped him. I, I, he couldn't even hurt me. He couldn't even hurt you. I'm right. the prettiest now, thing that ever hold, lived. Hold it. Here's a guy. I just shook up the here's world. Joe Lewis. Joe, I won't just come on in and ask. I won't ask just Cassius. Joe, tell tell Cassius about the injury that oh, Sonny suffered. Wait excuse. a minute, wait a minute. No excuse. The injury was no, an open no, eye. No, no, no excuse. Joe, the tell him. It was a big cut eye. Go ahead, Joe, tell him. It wasn't a cut eye. Doctor say he's folded his he left arm out of, out of, out of, out of the yeah. socket. So Swinging to nothing. Who wouldn't? Also got it. It, it he all, wasn't it, doing nothing. Sam hand. Cook, hey, let that man up here. He'll be up. No, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it now. Let that no, man no, up. He's Sam coming Cook. up. He's coming up. Let that man he's up here. He's coming up. Now listen, Cassius. Cassius, hold it. This is Sam Joe, Cook. Joe, he, we yeah, see him. Yeah, Joe, ask Come Cassius. On, ask Cassius another question. Let's stay on me. This is the all right, Jeff. Rock and roll thing. One of, all right. Listen, shoulder went out. Sam Cook, a uh, very good friend, a good vocalist with with Cassius. Excuse me. We both move back. Move back if you will. Thank you. Shake up the world. Now he's got it. Excuse. His arm was out of place. Lewis is talking. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But don't hold it. Left shoulder in this corner. So, ladies and gentlemen, stop. 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 And the reason that's come from Sonny Liston's corner is that Sonny Liston's left arm has been put out of joint in the fight. Cassius Clay said he doesn't believe it, that it's just an excuse. And he's also complained that there was something on Liston's gloves that got into his eyes. And he says it was put there on purpose by the trainers of Liston. So the accusations are flying around. And Clay won't accept the excuse of the left arm. Let's go back and hear what he's saying now. Thank you very much. He did tell me that, ladies and gentlemen. He gave me the insight on that, and I gave it to Joe. Joe, now, Joe, tell me this now. What will happen if they go back again? I think it's deserving of a return go. Well, it will be. It will, I think they have a return go. But, Steve, I like to tell the people and, and all the theater of the world. And, 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 uh, in Europe the and Canada. Was, the yes. fight was stopped. Uh, Sonny left and Doctor stopped the fight because Sonny had fought 
his left, left shoulder. Shell out, out of the socket. Out of the socket. Yeah. Champ, um, did this ever happen to you when no, you were in the ring? Never did, because it but do happen to quite a few fighters, though. It does, I know because, this. As you know, Sonny was missing a lot of left hooks. But why was he missing? Was it the target? Was it well, the, because, the slippery up part of yeah, his body? Yeah, well, because Clay would pull him back and off a tall, see? So and, and so that's why he throwed it out, that's how he throwed it out. Throw it, throw it out. Would not let him that continue. was Dr. Alexander Robbins no, who no, diagnosed no. it, yes. Dr. Uh, Robert Bennett from Detroit. He, yeah, and Dr. His, Bennett also yeah, in the corner. Yeah. Dr. Bennett, who was Sonny's... Uh, Personal uh, physician. Right, you know, and that's the, the story fight. there. Now, we're watching Cassius Clay, well, Joe, leave the, the auditorium at this point. I don't want you to leave. Cassius Clay is going down the aisle. The crowd is heading toward his dressing rooms. Harold Conrad, one of the top writers in the nation, uh, also thought that perhaps this would go in a major upset. Harold was writing some publicity, and I honestly thought he was just giving us a publicity. And so the new champion of the world, Cassius Clay, is about to leave the ring where tonight he's caused one of the major sensations of boxing of all time. There's no question of it. Sonny Liston, the man who was thought to be very nearly unbeatable, beaten after six rounds, retiring ignominiously from the ring, uh, the diagnosis, a pulled left shoulder. All these signs now that there's going to be a return match between Cassius Clay and Sonny Liston. The scene, as you can see in Miami Beach Convention Hall, one of bedlam, amazement, sensation. Certainly the most fantastic night in world boxing for over a quarter of a century. Heavyweight champion of all time would have been the heavyweight champion. Good heavyweight champion. Sonny is, is yeah. durable. And good also, puncher. You're also right. They have rated him that they, that he probably was, but so far over the rest of the top of the heavyweights and the, and, and, the, and who were boxing today. So I think this has got to go down at the biggest upset in the history of boxing. Biggest upset in the history of boxing. Well, I tell you now. As Cassius did say, Angelo Dundee, his trainer, his advisor, also did say that they would go for a return go. Do you feel now the American public should clamor for it? What do you think? Well, I think if they, if they have a return match, I think that it would sell out any, any stadium in the world. Because, any state? Because well, I, I just... That, let's say that I think that the American public here and also the older world, not only American, but Well, the I world, just got the nod. I, I just got the nod from Ed Lastman, World Boxing Association, and Arch Heinemann, well, Executive Steve, Secretary. They would okay Steve, the return. Steve, I like, Steve, I like saying we'll play working with you. Joe, great to be with you on Theater Network Television. Ladies and gentlemen, from Miami Beach Convention Hall, on behalf of Joe Lewis and yours truly, Steve Ellis, we saw the biggest upset, as Joe pointed out, in heavyweight history, and we'll just say that's the story from Florida.